Detained former Senator Laila de Lima won yet another one of the cases filed against her during the previous administration. The lawmakers' camp is elated with the latest development and hope to sustain the momentum to hurdle the last legal battle and perhaps be afforded furlough by the court while doing so. Ryan Lesigas has the full report. Despite not accommodating interviews, former Senator Leila de Lima expressed joy on her face. From three of her drug cases, only one remains. Earlier today, de Lima was acquitted by the Muntinlupa Regional Trial Court Branch 204 in one of her cases related to the illegal drug trade in the New Bilibid prison. Attorney Filipe Carbon says, despite being proven that there was illegal drug trade in Bilibid, there is not enough evidence to link de Lima to the crime. The retraction of former NBI Deputy Director for Intelligence Rafael Rago significantly contributed to the decision. Nawala ng tuluyan ang basihan ang akusasyon sa kanya at si at nagkaroon ng reasonable doubt sa 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 akusasyon laban kay Senator Laila de Lima at kaya dahil dito Senator Laila de Lima was acquitted based on reasonable doubt. According to Prosecutor Ramon Cito Ocampo, they respect the decision of the court. De Lima thanked the court on its decision. That's already two cases down and one more to go. I am of course happy that with this second acquittal with, in the three cases filed against me, my release from more than six years of persecution draws nearer. I am extremely grateful to all those who stood by and prayed for me all these years. De Lima's camp has filed a petition for bail in another case also involving illegal drugs. De Lima's co-accused in the case are Ronnie Dayan, former Bureau of Corrections Chief Franklin Bucayo, Jonel Sanchez, and Jose Adrian Dera. Hopeful pa rin kami na sana manaig ang katarungan, manaig ang katotohanan, at siya mabigyan kahit pansamantalang laya habang hinaharap niyang na huhuling, ang huling kaso na sinampas sa kanya ng Duterte regime. Senator Coco Pimentel praised the court for its fairness, while Executive Secretary Lucas Bersamin said the court's judgment in De Lima's case should be respected. Dahil ang judge lang ang uh, nakaaral doon sa ebidensya. Kung inakwit niya, naipaliwanag naman niya yan siguro sa kanyang uh, uh, desisyon. At uh, si Senator De Lima, that's another victory in her cup. Huh? So that's all. Ayoko naman mag-congratulate. That's the, the justice system working. The next hearing will be held at Branch 256 in the 5th of June. Ryan Lisiges for The Nation. Thank you.